I'm not sure actually. I'm I'm be curious because I think Mars Bat Rider is is actually not so bad for the Mars. Mars got pretty good wave clear. Uh, like you said, he he has the spear and spear is not that weak in the mid lane. Um, you can almost always push back the Bat Rider underneath his own tower or skewer him to a lot of the cliffs around the mid lane. Um, so it kind of makes you you know uh, the matchup a bit more skill dependent. I was actually quite looking forward to that, but we still have a treat. It'll be Nisha instead on the Void Spirit versus the Mars mid. Way off of Mars Spear Ride, I suppose, right? It's a one-way yes. ticket once you're on that thing. <laughs> no breaks on that train as uh, Puppy and Zayats are going to go and invade the triangle now, where they will find Matthew. Six minutes here, just about without a kill, and it seems like that drought will now end as Anisha is going to Astral Step on over to secure the kill onto Matthew. Dark Mago's here, though, and has the arena. Maybe even looking to turn. Panda's TP'd on over to the mid lane. Nisha, though, still has another Astral Step, and the Dissemilate will be able to at least get out of the arena up to his own high ground. Dark Mago will not chase blind uphill this early. Usually gets a Blink Dagger before he does that. Puppy and Zayat also able to evacuate the enemy high ground. Well, that is going to just be a clean kill then for Secret with the first arena from Dark Mago. Not really accounting to much. Yeah, I, I, Nice. Yeah, they do look for a kill mid. Nice job by Zai to interrupt it, potentially even turning here. But Dark Mago with the infused range drops a bit too tanky. Now we'll drop the arena. Does trap Zayats inside. There's going to be the spear connecting and a kill. Uh, make that two in favor of uh, Thunder as they also collect a kill down bottom on the Crystalis. Yeah, perhaps the bigger. Don't really know if Thunder can get too, anything too crazy off of this smoke play. They do have a DD in the bottle, though. Nisha is certainly a tantalizing target. The cookie, not going to find him, though. It's so hard to make that play. Oh, Dark and now he did. Yeah, the turn as well as they're going to toss him back into the Aether Remnant and an easy kill. Rezo TP's mid gives him the necessary control with the lasso, and there is going to be a big punish on They were ready to punish. Yeah, Puppy is uh, going to give his life here for a D-Ward. Uh, does give it to Dark Mago in the end. Uh, two or three cores. Um, and Razor's even d died once this game, so it's not looking like the, the dream game for Crystals. Yeah, no, it's not. I believe he has Falcon Blade on the way. Yeah, indeed, with a couple of... Uh, Good read on that one. Nietzsche's still smoking. He's still fishing around trying to figure out what's going on, but they just don't have the damage for Timber, I think, here. Dark Mago going mid onto Zayat. Zayat's maybe Dyer's looking to give a go here back to Dark Mago, but the Winter's Curse here is going to force a TP cancel. Might even set up for the kill onto Zayat as the Spear will collect it from long range. In the meantime, Sacred does scout Nisha here. Nisha is out of Astral Steps, but still has a Dissemilate. And now Crystalis, who's looking to turn third point already in the Static Link, and the ulti now active. Does have some serious damage to Sacred as Matthew now raining down the kits as Crystalis, dodging plenty of these as they've now nuked through the Timber Saw. They're looking to turn onto more. Double stun here. Is it going to be good enough for Matthew, however, as Nisha gets his Astral Step back online, and Chrysalis is going to be able to collect that second kill. They kind of just got faded in. The spell casting was just better from Team Secret there. Uh, uh, stop lane, so we get a spell casting. There's going to be the Flaming Lasso yet again onto Sacred. Gets the Timber Chain away. Small stick here that is going to keep him topped up at least for now. And it looks like Rezo does lack the damage. Just barely no. The damage over time will put him down, but Dark Mago at least able to get the return. Meantime, no secret. They're going to scout that whipped blink mid and invade the jungle a bit. Nisha maybe looking for more stacks, but for now, scout sacred, whose cookie is going to toss him into the eighth remnant. But Dark Mago, a second blink forward, will catch Zayats, and he will be rewarded at least with a kill there. Nisha, however, proves yet again to be a little bit too elusive. Making all the moves here. Sacred. Melt. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Uh, Aether Remnant there from Nisha to set up for the kill amount. Maybe even a Matthew in a bit of trouble as they do eventually get up the Arch. Sorry, the Winter's Curse to lock down Nisha. Plenty of damage onto him here. Matthew would love to turn for the kisses, but Chrysalis is not going to let that happen. Another Aether Remnant going fishing for Panda is not going to connect, but Panda slowed to a crawl thanks to the rotation from Resolution. And it's going to be three dead here for Thunder Awaken as a the physical damage. So here's Puppy chilling in the Roche pit with his good friend. Uh, it's going to be the counter initiation though from Nisha. Look at the nuke damage as well. Already getting through Matthew. Chrysalis as well joining the fight. Dark Mago is going to be linked. Sure healed very briefly here by the Cold Embrace, but killed off immediately after as Chrysalis has a full BKB. Is going to use it to TP away. Canceling it now as they have caught Pekaz, but maybe it's Pekaz who caught them. A curse onto two. Now Chrysalis, no BKB, is going to fall. 
There's Sacred Harbor still in trouble, slow to a crawl and killed off by the vessel. Uh, so it's going to be Rezo claiming the kill there. Picasso though, still confident in fighting as he does Sakuchi around the fight one last time before he runs into the mid lane. That's going to be Zayas now looking for the kill. Cookie does stun him up, though. Pekaz looking to turn a second time. Instead, it's Matthew tossed back into the enemy team, and it's going to be Pekaz who might have just killed himself. He ran in voluntarily, and down he goes. Nisha with too much AoE damage. Panda now is going to be the last to fall for Thunder. It's a full team wipe. Here comes Dark Mago. Still wants to fight. Puppy says, take me instead. You got to go through me. Panda says, no, thank you. I'll go for Rezo. <laughs> He's got an arena, too. Puppy's He's got nowhere to run. <laughs> oh, no, he doesn't, especially with That's the arena. And now trapping him sacred as well. This is a fight sacred could win, and he will win that one handily. It's like Inkswell, where if uh, you dispel yeah. of Inkswell, it'll just stun with however much it's accumulated. Panda is uh, simply going to avoid Rezo here. Oh, really good. Oh. Dark Mago still gets off the arena. In fact, he catches Nisha with the kisses coming down. They might, and they do get a kill onto Nisha. That's 600 gold in the pocket of Sacred, but Crystal is joining the fight, as is Pekaz. They've already taken down Zions, but now it's going to be Sacred's turn to burn, as he is going to die despite a great Winter's Curse to try and reset this out from Panda. Pekaz, not so eager to fight, does have a Lincoln Sphere, though, ready to go. As Dark Mago trying to make it out of this fight alive, crawling away. Back over to Panda in the river, who's still continuing to avoid Crystal's here, but eventually is scouted and killed here goes Picaz though Chris is going for the TP out and not enough damage end of the day though I, I think the you know killing the void spirit's good but it's pretty even fight in the end mm -hmm. neither team getting any big map control out of it both teams are still just kind of posturing around a whole champ because if you win a fight convincing you get rotated. okay Nisha is caught try to get up the eighth of remnants into the cookie do they have the magic damage yes they do here's Rezo now trying to turn as well as Chrysalis with the BKB at the ready the arena however will zone him out Chrysalis not willing to commit the BKB to enter doesn't really need it anyway as Rezo's winning the 1v1 but here's Picaz now uh, they have I believe reflect no, they're not really reflected much as Pekaz still fighting on through towards Zayats, gets the kill there, but now it's Sacred who's in trouble. Chrysalis using the BKB, trying to continue fighting. Puppy has taken down Panda, so there's going to be no Winter's Curse to cancel this TP. In fact, Pekaz is all alone to Chrysalis, who cancel his own TP as Pekaz does get off the time lapse just barely. Couldn't quite connect the stuns, courtesy of the Lincolns. And that'll be then Secret winning another big fight, maybe even still catching Pekaz, because Rezo is still on the look for this kill. They have connected on the link there is still a Lincoln's online which is gonna be broken now but Reza doesn't even need to use the lasso here to collect the kill it'll be another team wipe here in favor of secret there's this pesky wave uh, sorry wave in the mid lane Pagas is just gonna be the one to show then if there's a jump from Dark Mago only finds puppy with it however so gets off his uh, fireballs but won't be able to uh, live too long to do that fire shield pardon me Nice. Could get them this mid-tier one tower, so I think it's still a decent move here, but ready to fight Team Secret. Yeah. Yeah, they want to take this one. They know there's no BKB on Dark Mago. It's silenced up now by the Acceptor of Nisha, and there's going to be the kill. They've also lassoed down Panda to ensure there's no Winter's Curse in the fight. Excellent prioritization here by Team Secret as they have completely sent Thunder scrambling in the wind. The Sacred is going to be able to get out, but they're still hunting for Picasso. No. Crystal's... Do that. Oh, and here they go. Oh. Yeah, big catch on Pekaz. He does at least reflect the link. So Crystal is not going to steal any damage in this fight. But Dark Mago with the spear is going to connect onto the Kisses. Zayas is going to be the first to go. Nisha even a bit of trouble. Does Astral step himself out of that one. As Puppy is going to be the second to go. But might set up for the kill onto Matthew on his way out. As Rezo collects that one. It's Dark Mago now in a ton of trouble. As the Cold Embrace will do nothing but condemn him. Now Sacred here trying to escape. But no Lotus Orb means it's a free lasso target there for Rezo. It's going to be three dead as Secret eventually get what they look for. It only cost them two supports. Or, or, or basically thereabouts. Zayas is going to be killed. Rezo pops BKB. Pakaz without a BKB maybe looking to turn. Dark Mago as well uh, is now going to now have no magic immunity. But Chrysalis is cutting off reinforcements here as he finds Matthew and should be able to run him down without really much of a fight. Matthew gets up to the high ground. Back underneath where the Tier 1 used to stand. Dark Mago does connect a spear onto Nisha. Aether Remnant. Some protection for the magic damage, but not enough there. It is at least Rezo caught by the arena who is going to be killed. If Nisha does escape, three 
three times multi class stunned back onto Puppy, but it might be enough for the kill. No, not quite because Silence, but still finished off by the AoE damage of Chrysalis' Eye of the Storm. As Nisha jumps right onto Pandemu. That is going to be two kills then for Chrysalis as he looks for the third. This time, Matthew has no chance to escape as he attempts to juke him in the trees. Certainly they'll find him. There they go. As soon as the plasma field is ready, and that's three kills for Chrysalis. Now, godlike oh, with 15, 2, and 7 this game. Picasso is facing right now. Oh, here they go again as they are going to try and set up here onto Chrysalis. Winter's Curse catches him with the creep wave, but they've stolen a lot of damage from Dark Mago. Spear committed, but it's sacred. Now dying on the back lines. Even might be Picasso in trouble. Who's silenced up? No. Gets off the time lapse as it's going to be sacred. Now dying. Chrysalis is just 1v3 in the entire time. Another kill there. Picasso only able to get through Puppy before he BKBs and TPs away. They nearly kill him in that time, gods. Yeah. <laughs> this is, and that's with the defensive items. Obviously, Lincoln's and BKB aren't defensive against physical damage, but it really highlights, like, there's no amount of items that this weep can get that's going to solve the, the problems that he's facing this game. Like, he needs a ton of damage against his Razor. He needs more survivability against physical damage. You just can't get all that with items. Um, and unfortunately, this is looking like the Emperor Thunder Awaken here in game one. All right, it is. Dark Mago uh, is just going to be able to clear creeps from the mid wave. A secret slowly but painfully hit his tower. Actually, they make a jump on a Dark Mago's eye. It's fine in there with the dispose, and he is killed. Has buyback, but obviously does not want to use it like that. Secret still looking to close out this game now. They do see Picasso underneath the tier three tower. Winter's Curse yet again on the money here from Panda, but what can they make of it? It looks like they'll at least get a kill onto Rezo. A nice gobble up there also condemns at least Syed. Picasso as well healed up by the cold embrace, and Re the Crystal doesn't have the damage on his own. Nisha neither can get through him. So right now, a promising fight for Thunder at least, but Crystal yet again proves to be a little bit too big to take down. Push back onto the high ground. He'll just kill Matthew. Thank you very much for the repositioning. Now Sacred in trouble the physical damage overwhelming panda's gonna buy back dark mago's gonna buy back now sacred's gonna buy back but crystal is still basically about half hp <laughs> I mean, they buy back on Seeker, but I just feel like this is crazy to just say, don't worry, guys, I'll do this on my own. There's just nothing they can do to stop this Razor. He's just eating them alive. Kill after kill. They yeah. can't get through his survivability. Because even now on his uh, life, trying to do what he can here, but it seems like now Sacred is going to pop to the magic damage of Nisha. That's not quite 25 for him. That would be a, an extra stun in the array for Secret right now, but it just seems like, yep, yeah, they're going to call it. It's overwhelming here. It is going to be secret that take game number one uh, wow are generally playing a lot greedier but typically we're seeing these offlane razors and offlane vipers and these offlane carries when your mid laner is this big playmaker of so this aggressive vision down so maybe with the idea in mind that they can get favorable matchups but unfortunately for them they've already been scouted here marcy kind of oh, found Dark out that they were on this hill and they know it's warded yeah, and they're setting the trap as well for Dark Mago. Chrysalis lies in wait there with the Meld Strike, and that's a very easy first blood. Thunder, of course, not ones to run from a fight, are going to maybe give up two more. As Sacred, underneath the Steer One Tower, is going to be the second to go. Chrysalis diving a bit too far. He's going to win on six HP. Oh, no. It's like, you know, five to ten minute stage once the Alchemist starts trying to head up the jungle, whether or not they can contest that. Uh, Dark Mago is still going to collect the water rune. No bottle for him, though. Nisha contends on fighting through this. Even in the acid spray, Dark Mago, though, with the fairy fire, still living through it. Nisha might have overcommitted. Dying to creeps. No, gets the rebound away, and it's Zayat instead who will pick off Dark Mago. Wow. So let's going to get some little help here, perhaps in the top lane. He's got the heal coming in from that troll pre so, so much heal. That's going to help salvage his lane because it has been pretty rough so far. Radiance but now that oh, Monkey King's attack. made his way back up here, but he has a little bit of free time to at least get some CS for himself. You can try and look for Puppy. He does have a lot of sustain here with the Hill Troll Priest. Probably not enough, though, as he will go. Matthew does get Jingu off that, but Crystalis is just going to chop right through him. Does at least get off the fairy fire. That'll buy enough time for Sacred certainly to get away. As mid lane, Dark Mago was dove by Nisha, who missed. Dark Mago then, uh, with the chemical rage now wearing off, is going to give a bit of a chase here. There's going to be a haste rune scouted and into the bottle for Nisha, who does have another astral step ready to go in five seconds. Might look to turn this. They know that there's no chemical rage. Yeah, they're going to call on reinforcements. In goes Science as well. Dark Mago continuing to farm. Is going to farm one wave too many. Cannot pick the kill onto Science. Science isn't even going to go either to the boundless strike of Matthew. Ooh. 
there. Under this a tier one, though. Help. You, you don't have to kill him here. You're you're just keeping him away from camps. Yeah. Especially when you're the Void Spirit. Like, you're Dyer's kind of the, the, the three attack. position. Like, in terms of farm priority, like, Nisha is the lowest. Like, Viper mm. and TA are more important. Okay. Boundless Strike is reserved there for Rezo. It's Dark Mago, who might just be dead regardless. But no, there's going to be at least be the Aphonic Shield. Instead, it's going to be Matthew who dies first. Puppy already has Mechanism up. Sacred forced uh, to at least time lapse away. But it's going to be Dark Mago tossed back the double stun as well. Collects Sacred. And with the creeps surrounding him, it's an easy kill there for Secret who get three, maybe even four, as Pakaz shows up to fight with no items, and he's just food for Rezo, his third kill in the engagement. Everyone's full HP, thanks to Puppy, and this is some time to potentially turn it around for Thunder, but now it's, it's already feeling like we're grasping at straws. This first Aegis is usually when we say, okay, don't get too greedy, don't go high ground, but, uh, I mean, all systems go. Let's get up there. Here goes Chrysalis kicking this one off. Nice stun onto him, but already Pakaz feeling forced back. In goes Dark Mago, has a BKB that could be the first life here on the Crystalis as the Chen heals not enough. That Smek and Hand of God both used. They have the asset spray and the Wukong's command both up. Alk is ticking down but still kept alive. Another stun coming for Crystalis, but they do get him at least outside of the Wukong's command. Dark Mago chasing for more under the cover of the BKB will force back Secret. Only losing the Weaver as well. A respectable hold, but. How, wh where do they go from here? I mean, a respectable hold. <laughs> I mean, I guess they make sense in, in some way. And all that really amounts to some pretty serious physical burst damage. And that's going to be real nice into the BKBs that I Secret are hoping to protect. They've got vision on them. Here they go. What are the Roshan? Oh, but Nisha, he interrupts all. Silence is four. Might be able to pick off both supports at the get-go. Pakaz as well, kept away from Rezo, who is going to be kiting around Dark Mago. Stomped as well by the Puppy Chen crew. BKB active. The Chen heals coming through now as Chrysalis easily fights through Pakaz, who is left worse for wear on the high ground. Sacred left turning tail to run as Pakaz at least able to evade death for now. But Chrysalis continuing to give chase with the Meld Strike. Has the kill. Sacred run down by Rezo. And it started off so good for Thunder, but quickly went down the drain as even Dark Mago farming right next to the outpost is going to be the last to go. A full team wipe there for Secret. Roche is up, ready to go, but it's not going to matter because Thunder will throw in the towel. Yeah, that was the five-man smoke. They could be Roaching. We've got a ward there and everything. All the conditions for that fight. Yeah.